Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. First of all, subscribe and let's just get into this. So this is Double Shot at Love, Season 2, Episode 7, DJ Polly D-Day. It is his day, I guess. It's like they're having some sort of party at the at the hotel. So there's that. As we all know, Susie hooked up with Nikki. And then, you know, Antonio's talking to his mom on the phone. And he says that he thinks that he's related to Mike, the situation in some weird way. Like his mom's great grandmother. It was, it was like so freaking down the line. It's kind of confusing, so we're just going to move on from that. And then Maria says that she's actually okay with the friendship that she has with Vinny because her and him was having issues. Like, she said some stuff online, and, you know, he didn't pick her, and she really liked him, so there's that. Um, Nikki, Antonio, Brandon, and Susie go to work, and, you know, they're just setting up and everything, and you can tell Nikki got it bad. She really wants Polly D. Like, she really wants him. And then the afternoon shift had to work. While Polly D is DJing. And Nikki says um, she doesn't want to do the friend thing anymore. She wants a relationship with him. And if she can't have that, she will just stop trying and move on. You know, so we will see what happens with them. And it turns out, you know, Polly D pulled in a favor. And he was like, all the roommates going to get a day off, okay? So the afternoon shift didn't even have to go to work. And, like, so Antonio and everybody else was leaving from their job. And, like, um, they took the they took the car. <laughs> Antonio took the cardboard of Polly D. So, that was crazy. That party was turned, okay? That was the most craziest party I have ever seen. Everyone's turned. And then, you know, Polly and Vinny wanted to do, like, this big, big shebang for Mike because he just graduated from college. And everybody knows that means prison but we're just gonna call it graduated from college and like it was a big celebration they gave him a cap and gown and then they had the the bottles service girls with the, the caps and gowns and it was cool so darren is down you know see she sees ricky you know the dude she couldn't get and get none from because he couldn't get hard and um that's a mess and then Vin and Vinny and maria i think they're gonna get into something for real something in the bedroom so lauren lauren uh, situation's wife pulls nikki to the side and nikki she was like um so nikki you okay like what's going on you know she's so sweet and then nikki tells lauren that she actually wants to be with them and lauren was like if you want to be with him you have to go for it you just can't wait for it to happen for you because he might not want to um uh further that um, and Lauren tells Nikki that Lauren tells Nikki that she needs to tell him how she feels. So she runs over there and starts partying and dancing with him. And like, if y'all seen season one, you could tell I was so, I'm still mad about that. Like they could have been together and like, he getting a little too old, right? Like, don't you want to stop messing around and have, I mean, I know you have your daughter, but wouldn't you like to have a wife someday? I'm just saying. And the connection with them is really legit. Like, she really liked them. And when the, like, the roommates, like, Jenny and them came to um, the first season, they asked her, was she in love with him? And she said yes. And I could really see it through the screen. Like, she really loves him. And, like, he looks really happy. But I don't know if this is going to last. Like, I wouldn't want her to get heartbroken again. And Nikki, um, Maria is twerking it on Vinny, okay? She is just having a blast, having fun. And then, you know, one thing led to another, and they started making out, and they was going in, tongue and all, like, they was going in. And, you know, Polly and Vinny, I mean, Polly and Nikki, they're so cute, I cannot take it. And Nikki was in the confessional, she was like, I want to be his girlfriend. Like, she, she, that's what she wants. She's out for admission. That is it. And, whoa, they started making out for real. And, you know... Polly D tells everybody out there and around the pool, thank you for coming to the party. You know, I love DJing for y'all, blah, blah, blah. So they head back to the house, and Maria and Vinny are definitely going to go hook up. Like, you know, they're they going to hook up. But before I leave, um, you know, Ricky was like, did you tell them what happened? And she was like, no, no, not at all. I didn't tell nothing. No, we all know that you did. You cried about it. You cried about it because he he just put in boing for you. Like, he couldn't boing for you. And, like, everybody is making out. Like, everybody except for Antonio, 
B lashes and um marissa like there was only three nine you know kissing anybody but um uh, everybody everybody went to go have sex okay nikki and Susie left and then um vinnie and maria left i guess Polly and nikki did not have sex but they was like really making out and stuff and darren and b lash was like can we change the channel we've seen the show already which we have but i'm rooting for them like we'll see what happens for them and, um, you know, Marissa keeps saying it's hard to resist Brandon, but this is like your third time. And then don't be saying some, he broke my heart. When you know you keep laying back in the bed with him. You just keep on laying back in bed. And Antonio, because <laughs> it was like Nikki and Susie and um, Brandon and Marissa were in the same room. And Antonio's just sitting there eating his Rice Krispies. He was like, I would rather treat than cheat. Like, you keep on that because you still got a girlfriend, okay? So, let's not cheat, okay? And, um, so Vinny is looking for a condom and all that. And, you know, they hooked up and uh, Susie hooked up with Nikki. They're too cute. And, um, yeah, it basically ended with, um, Polly and Nikki, um, you know, kissing and all that stuff. So, that was cute. But, um, in the next episode, I got a bone to pick with Susie. I got a bone to pick with you, girl. Like, why was you saying to Nikki, like, he just wanted to fuck you and he just didn't really, he don't care about you like that. And then that made Nikki cry. Like, what's wrong with you? But I hope you all enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week. I review Catfish. We're, uh, when Catfish comes back on, we're reviewing Catfish. And I'm still reviewing Double Shot at Love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe again. I will see y'all next time.